one, Eran Stern here with another After Effects tutorial. This time I thought to share with you some workflow technique which many After Effects users overlook. Today we'll investigate the ability to use lights as adjustments layers. So here I have an open scene which I've designed to promote this program called Born to Dance. The dancers' figures are part of the new amazing collection available for my friend Aaron Rabinowitz at allbetsareoff.com. These are shots from a product called Crowd Control, and it includes thousands of clips. And when I say thousands, I mean more than 40,000 clips, all pre-keyed with alpha channel, just waiting for you to use them in your own productions. I invite you to browse this library and check it for yourself. Okay, so back in our project, I've placed a few crowd control dancers on the floor, added a simple camera move, and also placed a few lights in the comp. Most of the lights here are spotlights, but there is also one point light presence for enhancing the whole atmosphere. Now, Let's see how this looks when I switch the Draft 3D button off and view our fully rendered comp with lights and shadows on. Wow, definitely an improvement. We can suddenly see the wall at the back, the disco floor looks much more interesting, but this also comes with a price. Since light in After Effects are always behaving like the real world, and due to the fact that I have a total of 6 lights in my scene, each light is adding itself to the previous one, which generates an additive effect that burns the exposure of some of our characters. If I'll move my playhead to 5 seconds, we can see that we made this blonde girl much much blondy and brighter than what we really need. And as much as I like blonde girls, I think that this is too much even for me. The obvious way to go here is to select the corresponding light in the timeline and play with its intensity until we reach the desired look. And as you can see, I named the layers and the lights accordingly, so this will help me to identify and control them more easily. So let's select the black dress light, press AA twice in sequence which reveals the light attributes for this light and then lower the intensity maybe to 50% and this should do the trick. But as you can see, because we have so many lights in this comp, it doesn't do much here. I'll reset it back to 100% and instead let me show you a nice trick that will help you to control the effect of lights in a scenarios like this. What I will do instead is take each light and place it on top of the layer I want it to light. So going back to the start of the comp and drag the floor light on top of the wall and the floor layers and then I will turn this light to an adjustment light by switching on the adjustment switch for it. This tells the light to behave just like an adjustment layer, meaning it will affect only the layers below it. Now, let's do the same for the rest of the lights in the comp. I'll select the girl cell light and drag it to be on top of the girl cell clip, and then convert it to an adjustment light. Now watch the screen when I do this for the other layers and see how the light in the scene reacts only to the layers I want it to. Using this method, you gain more control over the intensity and the exposure of each layer, and each light of course, as other layers are not heavily affected. If you feel you need more attention to one of your subjects, you can easily select individual light and change the influence without burning the exposure for the whole scene as we seen before. So for example, I'll choose the pink robe light, press AA and raise the intensity to 150% which add a vivid look to our pink dress girl, but doesn't affect any layers on top of it. Let's do this for another clip. I 
see that the hip hop dancer is a bit dark as well. So no worries here, I'll repeat the same adjustment trick again. I'll select the light, press AA and set its intensity to 200%. This usually considered to be a very high value for intensity, but again, because this is an adjustment light here, it's actually yielding very nice results. Now, I'll do the same for the black dress light and set the intensity to 140%, which looks very nice on our blonde girl here, and at the same time also affect the text layer below it. So we're just like killing two birdies with the same stones. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, of course. It's actually looking very, very cool. Okay, so that's it, we have it. Almost total control of lights inside After Effects, which helps to bring up the details that you want and make sure the attention of the viewers is captured. And all of this without burning the faces of your actresses or even making them sweat. Now let's take a final look at the whole animation to verify that we indeed have the correct scattering of light across all our scene. Well, I hope I helped you to shed some light on this subject and hopefully learn something new today which will help you to shine above the rest. Until next time we'll meet, this is Eran Stern for CreativeCow.net reminding you to stay in the lights and keep on dancing all night long.